Hey, what's up, you guys? Fesso here. Welcome to answer cool video tutorial. This is a little tutorial to show you guys how to use filter gallery to make your 3D text better. So, um, let me show the example. So, here it is. Look at the difference. This is the old one, and mm, this is the new one before and after image. So, I'm gonna teach you guys how to use this effect on Photoshop. So let's open the Photoshop. I'm gonna open new project and my era logo and I'm gonna drag it into the new project. I'm gonna make it smaller. So I'm gonna make background black. So name it the logo. I'm gonna name it error logo. So just go over the error logo and press Ctrl J just duplicate it and go over the second one. Go to filter and select the filter gallery. Then go to stylize right there and select glowing edges and go to right there and select edge width 1 edge brightness 12 and smoothness 5 this is my settings you can play around the settings and select your settings but I'm I'm using this one 112 5 so click OK then go to blending mode and select screen and change the opacity about 50% then go over the first error logo and duplicate it again by pressing ctrl j on your keyboard then go to filter and filter gallery again and select go to uh, distort and select ocean ripple I'm using ripple size 6 and ripple magnitude 6. You can select on settings. Why I recommend you to use this one 6 by 6. So click OK and change the first about 35%. So duplicate the first error log again. Go to filter, filter gallery. This time I'm going to select the texture and first texture right there and I'm using crack spacing 60, crack depth 5, crack brightness 5 so it depends on your what logo you use I recommend you put this settings for error logo so select your settings I'm using this one click OK and go to opacity and make it uh, 60% so when you finish just select the first hold shift and select the last one and right click on it and select merge layers simply uh, you can click you can press ctrl E on your keyboard this is the shortcut for merge just I'm gonna name it error logo I'm gonna remove copy one. So I wanna show you the difference between this one and the old one. So I'm gonna put right there, drag this old one to so left hand side. So here is the difference. This is the old one and this is the new one. So you can use uh, this logo for your background I already make one so let me show it so here it is I make this background for era so it's really nice I'm using my own color correction for this background and I will make tutorial about it maybe in my making YouTube banner with me episode 4 so that's all guys thanks for watching this tutorial please like 
comment and subscribe.